Richard Wolf with a response to a question sent in by a Patreon supporter, Joel Rosales. He asks about R22, and I want to respond to him because I think it'll be interesting to all of us and to all of you for whom these answers are prepared. R22 is a gas. It's used mostly in air conditioners as a way of refrigerating the air. And it is something of particular importance these days in less developed countries where there's a lot of warm temperature, India, China, and so on, where there is a need for air conditioning. The problem is use of this gas depletes the ozone la layer in our atmosphere, which contributes to global warming, climate catastrophe, and so on. For quite some years now, at least over a decade, there have been efforts, particularly in the developed countries, to ban or at least reduce the use of R22 and, excuse me, to shift to other ways of refrigerating air that do not involve R22 as an example of a climate danger threatening us all. What Joel Rosales asks, quite rightly, is whether the general disinclination of the Trump GOP government to enforce environmental rules and laws, to cut back on the personnel and funds available, whether that has not and does not in fact continue to allow use of ozone-depleting R22 threatening our environment. And the short, blunt, correct answer to Joel Rosales' concern is that you are absolutely right. You should be worried. All of us should be worried. We have put into power in the United States and in places like now Great Britain and elsewhere, people who serve big business as their political job, where it's needed, how it's needed, when it's needed without concern for the impact on wages, jobs, incomes, family life, or anything else, including the climate. The only way to make real progress on eliminating R22 at this point, since the laws are already in place, indeed, on January 1, 2020, we're supposed to reduce 99.5% of it, from what we used to, the only real question becomes enforcement and the political commitment to do it. We have in power in the United States and in other countries politicians determined to do the opposite, which will require more vigilance, more public concern, more interventions such as Joel Rosales and people like him are doing, including by sending this question in. I hope you have found this interesting. This is Richard Wolf for Democracy at Work.